Blockbuster is an American DVD rental company that was founded in 1985. In 2004, Blockbuster had more than 60,000 employees and more than 8,000 stores worldwide, but in 2010, as demand for DVDs declined, the company went bankrupt and currently operates only one store, symbolically in the United States. There are some products that we can no longer find on sale. For example, we can say the old models of Nokia phones years ago, or the first iPhone models produced by Apple. In other words, these and similar products went into decline after a while and left the market. Before any product is presented to the market, it is first only in the form of an idea. Later, market research is conducted on that idea. If it is concluded that the product will be successful, then the product is started to be produced and presented to the market. In fact, products are like living organisms. They also have a life cycle, and each cycle has its own marketing, financial, management, etc. strategies. There are some products that leave the market prematurely. For example, according to statistics, most of the products introduced to the market fail at the very beginning and leave the market. The life cycle of each product consists of four stages, except that some products cannot pass to the next stage and leave the market. First stage, introduction, second stage, growth, third stage, maturity, and the last stage, decline. The product life cycle approach was proposed by Raymond Vernon, an American economist, in 1966. Any product that we can think of is at one stage, and if the manufacturer of that product is a professional, most likely he or she knows what stage the product is at and sets right strategies according to that stage. But there are some companies that don't know what the product life cycle is and set the wrong strategies, which ultimately leads to product failure. Now let's take a closer look at these stages. At the first stage, during the product introduction period, the product is put on sale. During this period, the sales are very low because the product is new in the market. There is a great need for advertising to make people aware of the product. At the same time, there are not many competitors of this product in the market. Usually there are no or negative returns, but what strategies should this company management choose? First of all, advertisements should be done on various channels to inform the target people about the product. Collaborations with the right partners should be done. The product should be presented to people as a test so that they have complete knowledge about the product and their prejudices are removed. When this product makes more sales, it is already passed to the next stage, that is, the growth stage. In the second, in the growth phase, sales and profits increase. The product is already recognized by the customers in the market, the costs related to that product start to decrease. Competitors seeing the situation also bring cheaper, similar products to the market. In the period of growth, more different strategies should be chosen, because the product in the market, as well as the situation of the market itself, have changed. During this period, the product should be distributed more. Given that new competitors enter the market, additional values or features must be added to the product. Then the target group of the product should be expanded further. In order not to lose the market share, it is necessary not to reduce the advertising costs. But this time the values added to the product should be highlighted in the advertisements so that it can remain dominant in this segment of the market. After the growth period, the product enters the maturity period. In the maturity stage, competition in the market reaches its peak, competitors compete for market share. Weak competitors leave the market, the price of the product falls due to high competition. The growth rate of sales is slowing down. The maturity stage usually lasts longer than other stages. So what strategies should be done during this period of the product? The company should further intensify its distribution channels. Higher versions of the product or similar versions should be created and advertising should focus on the new product family. For example, Coca-Cola began the production types of sugar-free, caffeine-free, etc. The last stage is the period of decline. During this period, sales are decreasing. There is a demand decrease for that product in the market. Revenues are falling. Many competitors for this product are leaving the market. Many factors can cause a period of recession. For example, some technological innovation, political event, change in customer behavior or internal problems, etc. can cause it. 
In this period, the company should consider these strategies in order to come out with less loss. For example, advertising costs should be reduced, product sales prices should be reduced to stay in the market, and relationships with past loyal customers should be improved. In some cases, companies may sell that brand to other companies. In certain cases, during the decline phase, adding new values or features to the product can lead to rise again, but in other cases, the only way is to remove the product from the market. For example, video cassettes produced by different companies can be cited. Let's practically look at the sales of Apple iPods manufactured by Apple between 2006 to 2014, according to the product life cycle. As you can see, sales were low during the introduction phase, then there was a sharp increase in sales during the growth phase, and then during the maturity phase, the sales growth began to stabilize, and starting from 2010, sales began to decline. 